U.S. Navy's making of a sailor. What did I get myself into? Let's go. Well, I like that they're coming in the middle of the night. That means they're exhausted. They've probably been traveling for a day and a half between MEPs, the layovers, stuck on this bus. Quickly, on the hop, let's go, <laughs> let's go. Power up, hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, female, hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, move faster, you. Night of arrival was just... Get off the bus and get in the building. Move, move, move faster, you, move. Maybe I'm being overly judgmental. Maybe I'm an old boomer. But the rolling of the eyes, I didn't tolerate that with my children. She's on camera for the Navy. Now does it make it more fun? Does it make it more appealing to recruits? Maybe that's the ticket. I'm like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> so it was like one second we're on the bus, watching the little video, trying not to fall asleep. And then as soon as we get off the bus, like it's immediate screaming. Let's go! Move! Move! Move faster, you! Um, I remember getting yelled at. That's pretty much all I can remember is just getting yelled at. Move! Move! Make two even rolls! Move! Move! Let's go! Move down! Let's go! Knock down! Knock down! Good afternoon, I'm Chief Petty Officer Jamie Kalaw. I'm a recruit division commander. For the minute you get off the bus, there's going to be a lot of stress applied upon you. The yelling, the go, 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 can you do this, can you get that done? There is a lot of comments about why the yelling isn't necessary. We're trying to get this training done in an expedited time, right? So if it's 12 weeks of training, you don't need it to be 24 weeks because people are taking their time. Get everybody on the same page, right? You don't need people kind of taking their time, lollygagging, jerking around. You got to set the baseline expectation for when things get done. Um, you know, and it's up to you to basically perform under pressure. Look straight! Look straight! Welcome to the United States Navy. For the next eight weeks, you will not do a single thing on your own. I tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Nothing that I ever tell you is a request, an option, or a suggestion. So you, will you, do you, you. It. I think that's a great statement. Nothing I tell you is a request, option, or suggestion. A lot of people are used to being told what to do and they go, oh sure, I'll do it, and they don't. Maybe they didn't have discipline at home. Maybe there's dirtbag kids. All generations have that, but I like the fact he's making it very clear. Here are the parameters of this place. When I tell you to do it, just do it. You may not like it, but you'll be done in eight weeks, apparently, that's all it is. I think this is a good start. I love this, Chief. Make it, you give you a direction and you have 0.5 seconds to pay attention to it, to the letter. So you, you can't mess up. If you mess up, then that's on you and it's really going to fall back then on you. you will roll up your pant legs three inches up. When you are done, you will be on the tall line, standing straight, looking straight, awaiting further instruction. You have 15 seconds. Go, go! Hurry up! Let's go! Hurry up! Let's go! I say behind you! <laughs> behind you! Next to you! Your heel. Is that touching your heels? No, it's not! You always hear that expression, attention to detail, right? And people forget. He said, put it behind you. The guy put it next to him. Is it a big deal? Well, if you're on a ship and they say, tighten this lever to this tolerance, and you don't, it's a big deal. So it starts with the little things. Now, growing up, attention to detail was never termed, but everything was attention to detail in my family. That's just the way I was raised. Sports helps with that, right? If you need to run a route, go five yards out and do a 90 degree. It's not a 70 degree, it's not a 120 degree. This is important because a lot of people don't have that basis to start from. Fix it! Fix it! Fix it! Fix it! Fix it! He said get down to the last shirt with sleeves. Maybe I wasn't loud enough. Maybe you couldn't understand me. <laughs> Fix yourself now! I thought it was going to be uh, a little bit more relaxed, but it definitely isn't. A lot more intense than I did think it was going to be. Who said? I always find it hard to believe that recruits are shocked about it. 
Now, maybe you watch the videos, you talk to friends, you think you know. It's a little more intense when you can't catch a break. You can't turn off the VCR tape or stop the YouTube video. People watch this stuff and they go, oh, I can do this. It'll be fun. And they get there and they realize it's nonstop, a lot of hurry up and wait. Doesn't seem like it's going to end because everybody's young, right? That's the point of this thing is kind of give people a basis to start from, a foundation to go on to their, in this case, A schools, end up on a ship or shore duty. Stand like that. You must love getting special attention. <laughs> huh? There, Chief. Get that attention! Now! God, look at this dirt bag. I mean, they know what attention is at this point. They've said, here's what attention is. Your hands along your trouser seam. That would be pants for you that don't know. He's got his hands kind of flopped in front of him. He looks like he's got an attitude. I just don't see why you join the military if you don't realize what's coming. There's a certain expectation in all services. He says, get at attention. This kid's standing like he's pissed off in the principal's office. I'm pretty sure that I said, your hands will never be behind you. Your hands will never be in front of you. What is your problem? Proper military bearing will be maintained 24 seven and it starts tonight. Do you understand me? Yes, Chief. I can't hear you, do you understand yes, me? Yes, Chief. Yeah, that was the hardest for me, just to like not even argue the point, just take it, yeah. This road's gonna fall out. Now, what do they mean by military bearing? You think it's something very precise, no. It's not losing your composure, so it's a useful skill as you go about your business as an adult. When things go shitty, you don't show it in your face, you don't roll your eyes, keep your head and eyes straight forward. You don't run your mouth unless necessary. Very valuable skill for adults to have. So, almost like a poker face, right? You're not showing your hand. It's useful in all walks of life. In the military, they call it military bearing, but we'll just call it having composure, having moxie. Down that road, let's go. sea bag which was the big green duffel bag that you have to carry you take all of your personal items off like all of your clothing your shoes everything you arrived in you put it in a box including your cell phone and ship it home and then you get brand new everything from t-shirts that we're wearing to the PT clothes to sneakers nothing that well the sea bags haven't changed much we had to wear our own go fasters right to boot camp I remember we put our stuff in a paper bag they stapled it shut, and I think they put maybe your last name on it or something. The best part is when you get this stuff, when you finish boot camp, you try to put it on depending on how you went there. None of it fits right. The skinny guys typically gain weight. If you got any excess weight, let's say you were a bodybuilder, consuming a lot of protein, you will get smaller. That's the nature of boot camp. You came with, aside from maybe a hairbrush and a few personal items, gets to stay with you fits in this little green bag. Wonderful. And then I had to put it on. And There's no Bellman service at Navy boot camp. That's a travesty because I heard, hear me out, the Air Force has got Bellman service. She's disappointed. <laughs> and it wasn't so wonderful. Anymore. Okay, then fix it now! Uh, I've been up since 3 in the morning since last night. And I don't know how I am awake right now at this moment. And I've been on my feet, and my feet are dying. So that's it. Ooh, she I'm looks exhausted. tired. This my one. arms feel like they're gonna fall off, and it's not fun yet. I didn't even know. A question for you guys: Will everybody today, especially youngsters, drinking monsters and consuming copious amounts of caffeine? I think something like this would be tough because you're not getting the caffeine. I don't even know if they give you caffeine at boot camp. I never really drank caffeine before I went in, unless maybe a soda here and there. Never drank coffee. There was no energy drinks to speak of. So, these people are all probably crashing from lack of caffeine, probably withdrawals from the headaches. That's a new phenomenon that I don't think existed before the introduction of the monsters or Red Bulls of the world. Let me know in the comments, did you have caffeine withdrawals 
in boot camp. I didn't even I, sleep at mix. Yeah, I nearly, I nearly fell asleep standing. So. I am naturally standing out of tension right now. I'm not even trying to, but... <laughs> it's, it's definitely getting a lot tougher for recruits. Pretty sure I said you will sound off. Yes, Chief. Huh? Yes, Chief! Did I say walk back on the tow line? I didn't. This instructor does an outstanding job. I saw him briefly, another video. That's why I chose this, because this is what you want for your son or daughter to go to. Somebody needs to give them tough love, tell them exactly what to do. Now you're nervous, right? So you're nervous about everything. Things aren't clicking as well in your brain. So you're gonna make mistakes, but you start paying attention to what exactly is said and not thinking or anticipating what's going to be said. Do you know where you're at? <laughs> Respond! Say something! Yes, Chief. No, Chief. Maybe, Chief. What is it? Yes, Chief. Because responding is not an option. From what other people would say, and like how they said that they've kind of, they've got a bit softer because of um, like the era that we're in, but no, I think it's still kind of. Now I'd love to see what these two recruits look like after because the slouching would be totally unacceptable. You know, back in the old days, right? I suspect it's the same, but you see how they're slouching, arms forward, kind of a weak posture. Hopefully they corrected that. That goes a long way in the military, outside the military. Someone who stands erect, looks like they're walking with purpose. It makes a difference whether you're gonna be a business person, a high-powered attorney, or a welder going to a date Everybody's evaluated on how they carry themselves. Same. There is a reason for everything that we do here. We do instill that pressure. So what is it doing next to you? Huh? Let me guess. You want, ah, no, no! Now you want to fix it. Maybe had you just done the right thing the first time, you wouldn't be in this situation. Uh, because again, when, when you do get to the fleet, we want to make sure that you, you fight and you don't fold. It's nothing like boot camp. It's nothing like Navy boot camp. You are joining the United States Navy. I expected it to be hard. No. I'm not a sir! No <laughs> I'm not a chief! No. 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 I tell them all the time, this is more your Navy than it is mine. No. Years from now, I'm going to retire and you're going to take over my spot. That is a good point when you see a man like this training him because he loves the Navy. It's going to be their Navy. The young E-1 could be the next E-9 30 years later. You want to carry on the tradition the right way. It's almost like your fraternity. You want to give back. I think that's a big theme with veterans. They want to see their service continue on do well just because there is a camaraderie. Not for any muchismo or any ego. It's just you had a great time or a very formative time, I should say while you were in. And I let them know that I want to make sure I can tell my wife and kid that we're safe at night because there's tough people in the Navy and I know for sure because I put them in. 0-3-30 in the morning, once everybody goes through that entire process, then the in-processing barracks team picks them up and takes them to chow and from there, you know, later on that, later on a few hours from there, they'll meet their recruit division. Let's go, hurry up! Super bunk. Better probably bunk. <laughs> this is a very casual intro, right? Super bunk. It's almost like you're going on a cheap cruise ship. They're relatively polite. You know, the Marine Corps has got its own hysterical way of doing things. I think the Army does too. I'm not saying it's a worse way. It's just different. You don't have the sense of urgency. Now, maybe that's why they went in the Navy. You, know, you figure every future SEAL starts here, so they produce some outstanding sailors. It's just different. Yeah, I just want to get boot camp finished. <laughs> I like challenges, and I feel like this is a challenge, and I'm going to beat it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to graduate without doubt. It's going to happen. I have a very set goal of what I'm here to do, if I have to get yelled at, I'm getting yelled at, and that's fine. But in eight weeks, I plan on being out of here. 
So I don't have time to fight with anyone or to get in any type of trouble or get set back because that's not what I'm here for. Just in and out and move on. Just get out of here. Yeah, just get out I of here. I want to graduate. Um, like I thought it just comes with going to boot camp that you were going to graduate, but you have to earn it. So. Yeah, it's definitely higher than I thought it was. Now for you guys that were in the Navy, what is the attrition rate in Navy boot camp? I heard it's not that much. I can see people maybe getting physically injured or maybe not making the PT standards. I met a young lady who I knew her father, and she said she was joining the Navy because the height weight standards are more generous for her size. She graduated. She was a very plump thing. But she serves a role in the Navy that's very important. You figure these ships are all over the world at any one point in time. The Navy really is the tentacles of the U.S. military.